the Phantom Safety Pin, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Nuzlocke Red. We're still on the Nugget Bridge. Two more trainers to go until we're at the end. So, here's our another, here's our fourth trainer, Alas, who does not have a name. That's another thing I've noticed, actually. None of the trainers in this game besides yourself and your rival and important NPCs have names. They're just known by their trainer class. Like, Lass, Super Nerd, Hiker, Junior Trainer. Gym leaders have names, but nobody has a name in the Pokemon universe. I wonder if they just name you Super Nerd or something when you're born, and then you grow up and become a Super Nerd. What if somebody named their kid Lass, and she grew up and she's like, Nah, I think I want to be a bug catcher. And then she becomes a bug catcher with the name Lass. <laughs> like, you think that's what happens? I doubt that's what happens. But, anyway. And here's an example of that crit hit glitch in action. Um, since one attack, one version, like, since one hit was a critical hit, all the versions were a critical hit. And it did way more damage than normal. I believe it does that with Rap and Fire Spin as well, I'm not sure. But if they're multi-turn multi moves, then, and it crit hits, it will do more damage than normal. For all the hits. Mankey, this is the first time we see them. Hey guys, did you know that the flying type is strong against the fighting type? True. I do not know why. Um, I think it has to do with the idea of <laughs> birds being able to fly out of the way of fighting type moves or whatever, or something like you can't fight the wind or whatever it's it's just weird I don't know why it is but fighting type is weak to flying type randomly I don't know the, the logic behind that but anyway that was our last nugget bridge trainer so we are going to actually heal up and come back and go fight this guy yes we have to fight this guy congrats you beat our five contest trainers you just earned a fabulous prize and we get a nugget for a couple we can sell them for five thousand dollars then the guy's gonna ask us to join Team Rocket. So I say no. No. No! I don't want to! Fine. Fine, let's fight, boy. Let's let's go at it. Let's go. Right now. Right now. Right here. Right here. Right now. We're, we're gonna fight right now. Right now. Right now. We're gonna fight right now. So anyway. We're gonna fight this Rocket guy. He's just one more extra trainer you gotta battle. And he gives you a nugget for your trouble. So it doesn't even matter. And it's, he's not that hard anyway. Once again, we are going to, uh, <laughs> we're going to, uh, send Jay out to deal with it because Jay is a little badass and I love him and he's fantastic. Maybe I should have named him Alex or Tim or something, but <laughs> instead of Jay, maybe Noah. I should name my next Pokemon Noah. <laughs> I actually do have a Typhlosion named Firebrand in Harkle, but I won't continue talking about my stupid... Naming conventions for Pokemon, you don't want to hear about that, because it's boring, and it's dumb, and nobody cares. Nobody cares, really. Really, no one cares, Phantom. I don't know why you think everybody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares at all. Anyway, once again, Zubat is a pain in the arse, so we are going to kick its butt with Fury Attack, because Fury Attack is great. And I believe we are almost done with the rocket. No, we are done with the rocket. That was quicker than I thought. Oh, you are good. And then again, he thinks we should be a top leader in Team Rocket. F you. F you, man. And Jay is alright. I just wanted to make sure his stats were alright and check how far he needed to go until he was number level Pokemon. Now, there's a guy over here, and if you go down towards him and you hit start at just the right time, and then teleport away, then you can actually fight a Mew, I believe, or a certain Pokemon, any Pokemon you want. That's It's a, it's called the Mew Glitch. Other people have done it. I probably won't show it off. I may. I'm not sure. And actually, hey, look, an Abra. Abras are really, really tough to catch, so uh, let's see if this works. They actually teleport away at the first sign of trouble. And I cannot believe I caught it. I am just as shocked shitless as you. I caught that Abra first try, and Abras are already pretty rare to begin with, so I am very surprised that not only was that Abra my first Pokemon I saw, it was also 
it was also caught that quickly. And I'm going to nickname her Alessa, after a certain character in the Silent Hill franchise that has psychic abilities, you should all know whom. Hint, her name is Alessa. So, we're going to keep on our way- God damn it! No, Pidgey, I don't want you! <laughs> Go away! That's another thing, all the freaking Pidgeys and Rattata, they, they become a nuisance after a while. Anyway, we're pretty much done in so why did I go back down? I don't know why I went back down. I thought maybe I thought there was something there. Or maybe I'm just grinding a little. I don't know. Oh, Oddish. That's the other Pokemon you can catch through here is Oddish. Um, so if you didn't have a grass type Pokemon before, there's ones right outside of Cerulean you can train up. They're literally right there. Misty is is situated in a town by the sea, by water. That has grass type Pokemon nearby, her weakness nearby. That was very smart. That's actually how most, um. That's actually how most of the, uh, gym leaders operate. And that's TM45. I believe TM45 is teleport. And, yep, nope, it's Thunder Wave. But we don't have any electric type Pokemon. Nidorino can learn Thunder Wave, I believe, but I want to save it for an electric type Pokemon if we get it. Now, there are some trainers up ahead, so I decided to take the liberty of going to heal. And... I don't know why I tried to use that. Oh, Bubble Beam. I, I don't know why I thought that I could use that. I don't know what I was doing. What am I doing? Oh, right. I'm teaching Mega Punch to, um, Abra. Because Alessa knows nothing but... Teleport right now. So we're going to give her one more move so she can actually be useful. Unlike freaking Buzz. I'm just kidding, I love Buzz. He's a great Pokemon. He's such a great Pokemon. He's so fantastic. As we do, we're gonna go fight some guys. Um, I believe I decided to shift some- did I? No, I didn't. Alright, so, we're gonna go fight some guys. These guys are just extra trainers. And what's more, they're just basically there for you to fight and gain experience off of Chop. We're gonna send Jay out again because fighting is weak to flying. And to make sure our hits are extra, extra good, we're going to uh, veer it down lower. It's defense down lower. And wouldn't you know it, one hit kill. And level 19! Sweet, Jay is almost to level 20. Well, I think I decided. And once again, once again, like, really, all, all these battles, again, are just fluff. Most of the battles are fluff. I mean, it's, it's different from when you're a trainer on a route. That's a little different. Um, but, but with trainers on a route, it's a little different. But stuff like this, the Nugget Bridge, those are all just fluff battles. They're there to give you experience and pretty much nothing else. So... I forget, who did I go and try- Oh, that's right, I, I switched, um, Alessa up to the top so she would get some experience. Her and Buzz. And I switched Floor to the bottom because she is the toughest. That's actually- Excuse me, that's actually a common tactic for me. Is, um, and the music glitch there, wonderful. But that's actually a very common tactic for me, is I'll put my strongest Pokemon on the bottom and the weakest Pokemon up top, so I can train the weaker ones more, and I know which order I need to go in. But seeing as we have an Onix, and this is a Hiker, we're gonna have to use Flora anyway. Or, wait, what am I doing? Oh, right. I tried to Mega Punch it, but I think it took off too much of my health. And I didn't, I didn't want to lose Alessa, because... Abra becomes Kadabra, and Kadabra is a very good Pokemon. Psychic types, um, well, you'll see how how good psychic types are in this game. They're ridiculously good. Spoiler, they break the game. And Alessa's level 9 now. But Kadabra will, I'm sorry, Abra will not be learning any, Alessa will not be learning any more new moves until she levels up some. That trail below, actually, there is a trail you can jump off, and it goes to Cerulean. Yeah, local trainers come here to practice, quite obviously. So, lots and lots of battles. 
Lots and lots of battles. I'm still drinking this really, really good Sprite right now. It's basically <laughs> Sprite with cherry and orange in it. It's very good. It's called Sprite 6 Mix. I would probably buy it again. I'm normally not a lemon-lime soda drinker, but this is a very good soda. I enjoy it. And again, Buzz is gonna kick this rat to his ass. Oh, come on. You can hit harder than that. I'm sorry, sometimes watching these Let's Plays later on is actually more fun for me than it is for everybody else. Oh, no! Buzz, no! No! <laughs> Why? You weren't that bad of a Pokemon! <laughs> God, no. You sick, twisted bastard. I will avenge my Beedrill's death! Disappointing. I was hoping I could get it to learn Twin Needle. If you're wondering what Whirlwind does, it doesn't really do much of anything in battle. But when you're in a battle with a wild Pokemon, it'll blow the other Pokemon away and you won't have to deal with it. It basically is a way to run out of a battle and end a battle without ending the battle by running. So therefore you won't be seeing Whirlwind used very much. I just wanted to fill a slot, to be honest. And actually, Jay doesn't learn very many more moves until he evolves into the next uh, evolution. And I'm gonna just quick cut out here track back to Cerulean, and we're gonna bury my poor dead Edril. <laughs> and here we are. Today we lay to rest a wonderful Pokemon. A Pokemon that wasn't as useless as he I thought he was. Buzz the Beedrill, rest in peace. You will always remain in my heart. <laughs> Even in the darkest of times. Moment of silence as we heal our Pokemon. I said moment of silence! God, you're so rude, Nurse Joy! Ugh! I lost a Pokemon here. Does anyone else care? God. So rude. And we edit warp back up to where we were. Let's move on, we're back down to four, unfortunately, but at least Alessa's still alive. So, I'm gonna try to, uh, battle with who I do have. Blah blah, dad took you to a party, I don't give a shit. Kid, can't you see my Beedrill died? I don't have time for your bull, I don't have time for your fucking slowpoke. I don't have time for your... set level 17 slowpoke, I don't have time for any of this. I'm gonna... I suppose I'd explain Slowpoke. Slowpoke is another Psychic-type Pokemon. It is Psychic-slash-Water-type, actually. Which means that you can use Grass-type moves against it, but it's not recommended because Psychic-type, for whatever reason, is strong against Poison-type. I don't know why. I really don't know why. So, we're just gonna sick Jay on him, I guess. I'm not sure, because Jay is a badass. And ow, confusion. Confusion also do does damage, as well as possibly causing confusion. It's like how Poison Sting can sometimes cause poisoning. Ow! Yeah, and it's super effective to Poison types. Again, I don't know why. And we are cutting it kind of close. Damn, son. Oh, and Spike is level 20 now, yay! So he has, he is just that much more stronger. More stronger, wow, Phantom. And that's gonna have to do it for now, so until next time, this is the Phantom Safety Pin, signing off, and I will see you later.